Yes guys, it's a boy Cam CTB, Cam Dogs Boxing, back with another video. Woo! Here are three reasons why Javonta Tank Davis is not in the top 10 pound for pound list. Yes guys, if you're new, hit the like button. Please subscribe, almost at 600 subscribers. Trying to hit 1k subscribers by the end of the year. Really appreciate your support and much love to all my subscribers. But let's go straight into it. Javonta Tank Davis, undefeated, knockout puncher, American, sells out arenas, brings out the hip hop stars. But in regards to the pound for pound list, here's my first reason why he's not in the top 10 pound for pound list. He's lacking a strong resume. He hasn't fought the top fighters in his division. He hasn't fought Haney, he hasn't fought Shaquille Stevenson. Yes, he's fought Ryan Garcia, but you could argue that he was a prospect and on the way up as well. But credit to Ryan Garcia, Re credit for Tank for fighting Ryan Garcia, nonetheless, because a lot of people are saying this afterwards, but there were a lot of people were picking Ryan to win. But yeah, he hasn't fought Tifima Lopez, he hasn't fought Lomachenko, he, he was scheduled to, he could have fought Lomachenko f so many times, but he was never ready apparently and look what Tio did at 23 he fought Lomachenko so I think it's just his resume in regards to his own weight class it's just it's poor I know he's fought world champions from lower weight divisions he's fought barriers up there at the top um, at 140 but I just feel like there's just so many fights that he should have and that's why my second reason is he's slightly unproven you know he's got a chin clearly but He's got a chin because he's been hit by Pitbull Cruz, he's been hit by Ryan Garcia. But I still wanted to I still want to see him against the best fighters in his division. That's why I think he's unproven. We know how good he is, but can he do that against Shakur Stevenson? Can he do that against Devin Haney? A lot of people still think that he would beat Devin Haney, you know, but a lot of people think he wouldn't beat Shakur Stevenson. So that's why we need to him to prove himself. And those are the type of fights that put you in the top 10 pound for pound list you know and and my third reason why he can't be in the top 10 pound for pound list is because other fighters have done more Tank Davis is not even a world champion at, at this current time anyway he's a regular WBA holder you know I saw a good I saw, saw a good comment from someone and it's really interesting maybe I need to do another video on it but is he doing all of this not fighting for belts because of the 3% fee they charge you know the sanctioning fees which is absolutely ridiculous and if that is the case it's smart he doesn't need it. he's probably thinking i don't want the belts but still for legacy guys like he's going to make money regardless even if he just wins them and then vacates them all he's not a world champion he hasn't been for a while now i don't think he's been world champion since at 130 i think he is just the ibf he might have won the wba at 130 but i don't think he did i think it was literally just the ibf you know, super featherweight title um, against Jose Pedraza, and that was so back. That was back when he was so young. So, you know, like he's never like unified. He's never been undisputed. And for a fighter of his caliber, and how good we think he is, and other people, other fighters, other you know, respectable you know, names in the boxing industry, but all great. Javante Tank Davis, but it's just a shame he hasn't done all of these things. You know, like even Joshua, he's a un he's a he's been a unified champion. <laughs> you know, you know Hain is undisputed. It's just we're not saying he can't do that, but there's other fighters that have done it. Tifima Lopez, who's winning the thumb now, two weight world champion, only 25. He's younger than Tank. He fought the two best fighters, or the man of the 135 division at the time. Lomachenko beat him. He was top. He was top. He was the pound for pound best fighter in the world. He beat Josh Taylor, who was still top 10 pound for pound. And no one gave him a chance and he beat him. So look, that's impressive. Look, Devin Haney, he's stacking up a good resume. He's beat Lomachenko, he's beat Kombosos, who beat Tio. Um, he's beat Linares. Yeah, he might have been a little bit past it. He's beat Jojo Diaz. So they're still good fights and he's undisputed at the, at the end of the day. Haney wants to make the best fights. Hence, he's going to top rank. Hence, he can go to PBC if he wanted. Hence, he can move around as a free agent, you know. And there's just so many, even fighters like Estrada, you know, there's Baturbiev, there's Shakur, who are around that 
some people might have him just outside the pound for pound list. Even Tyson Fury, fighters like that. I think they're above Tank Davis. But guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Is Tank Davis in your pound for pound list? It depends what pound for pound is, right? On ability, you could include him in there. But from my understanding, from my knowledge, it's a combination of ability and what you've achieved and what, what yeah, what, what your current status is. Are you a champion? Are you, have you just lost? He's undefeated, so people might have him in there. But what has he done recently, guys? He hasn't fought any top, hasn't really fought the top of his position. He's not a world champion. Simple as that. He's a lot to prove. But guys, hit the like button. Please subscribe. And guys, I'll be back with another video. Me.